Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 30th, 2021 from Psalm chapter 13, A God Who Hides. Verse 1, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Can we even see the face of God? Consider this from Genesis chapter 32, verse 30. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been delivered. Sin is the great separator. Our sin keeps us from God, so God has to intervene. Not by allowing sin in God's world, this could never happen. God intervenes by touching our lives with His holiness. When the holy touches the unholy, the unholy is changed into holy. So God touches us through His holy word, and then we can see God, and God gives us his light. Verse 3, Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him. Lest my foes rejoice, because I am shaking. God's intervention is needed to change our life. God needs to open our eyes so that we can see Him. God needs to open our ears so that we can hear Him. Consider what Jesus says in Luke chapter 11, verse 34. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it is bad, your body is full of darkness. Your eye, you could say, is moved to what you think is important. So when you put your attention to the things of this world, it is bad. But when you focus on God's word and God himself, this is good. Notice what Jesus says in John chapter 8, verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the psalmist is asking God to help the psalmist keep his focus upon God. For the psalmist then concludes, verse 5, But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. The psalmist reaffirms his trust in God. Why? Because God has dealt bountifully. That means God has given lots of good gifts to the psalmist. God has taken care of the psalmist. Bountifully means like the harvest, as God has provided. Notice what James says in James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. God does not hide. For God is constantly giving us many gifts each and every day. Our problem is that we are often too busy to realize and appreciate these gifts. So we need to slow down a little bit and appreciate how God is showering us with his good gifts. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.